Today I want to talk about a couple of different money saving apps. This first one is Coin Out, and I have a video on my channel showing how to download all the different apps. Now, this one, I, I use it sometimes. It's not very often that I use it, but there are good deals on it. Um, as you can see, there's an in-store button, and if you push on it, it'll give you all the offers that are in store. It's similar to Swagbucks in that way, which I will be doing a video on. And you can see all the different deals. Now it's important with this app, just like the other ones, to make sure that the store you're buying the item at qualifies for your rebate, otherwise you won't get the rebate. Um, for instance, this is Vita Slim Coffee Pods. And see it says, Five dollars back when you buy them at Acme, Albertsons, Food Lion, Fresh Time, hy -Vee, Meyer, or Wegmans. So, if you bought those at Walmart and tried to turn the receipt in, you would not get the money back on the rebate for that. So it's always important to see where the store is and to read the exact qualification for the item because this says. 10 count coffee pod. You don't want to try to buy a trial size and also sometimes if you buy one that's too big, if they have a 20 count, that won't count either because they won't give you your money for that. Now, what you want to make sure you do when you do claim an item is they have a button here It says claim offer and you'll want to click on that and you'll have your receipt in there and it'll have you select the receipt that you just submitted and that way you'll get your money. We'll see what other deals they have this week. Uh, here's one for Walmart. And I'm, I know sometimes there's Ibotta rebates for the Rise Coffee. This is $1.50 back for Rise Nitro Cold Brew. I've seen this rebate sometimes on Fetch Rewards too. Let's see what else. Oh, here's a free item. It's for... Um, Harmless Harvest Yogurt, but it's at Whole Foods, so if you don't have a Whole Foods market, you wouldn't be able to claim it. And just like all the other apps, you want to scan down and see, see it says only at Whole Foods, one per member. Some of these will say you can re do the rebate two, three, four times, but this one's very specific on once. Two dollars on a cocktail artist mix. I've seen that rebate also on uh, Ibotta. Now I know right now there's a rebate on Ibotta for the brownie brittle. Um, and there's Kroger cash back, which I'll be doing a video on that later today. Um, you see, this says a dollar back on the brownie brittle. It gives you what ounces qualify for the packaging. It's always really important to look at the packaging and make sure you have the right ounces so that way you'll get your rebate. And it also tells you what stores. You can buy this at Walmart, you can buy it at Kroger. Because I know Kroger is a regional store just like Publix. And only certain places have those stores. Now, this also states that you have to make sure you submit the receipt within seven days of purchase. This is similar to Fetch. You want to make sure that you turn that in within time so you don't lose your rebate. Now this one's different because it says limitation two per member per day. So you would be able to buy two brownie brittles if you want. And you would receive two dollars back. They have the Scotty. Of course, we already talked about the coffee. And then Rise Brew 4-Pack, Walmart only offer. And see, this one tells you it's a Walmart only offer. And this one even has the date. It says January 3rd through March 31st. And then it's limit to one product. As long as you take the time to read the apps, you will be okay. Um, sometimes you have to submit a ticket, but it helps if you take the time to go ahead and read an item and make sure that you can um, submit it and that you have the right item.
Now we're also going to talk about coupons.com. Now a while back, coupons.com was separate from Saving Star. The Saving Star is no longer around and some of those deals have actually merged with coupons.com. So it's all coupons.com now. Now you notice when I clicked on the app, it says free try to get your offer now. So I'm going to click on it. And see it says buy one trident gum get a dollar twenty nine back fourteen stick. So click activate and your item is activated and you will be able to submit your receipt later, get your money back. Now see, it'll show you how much you have at the top at your balance. It will show you that um you can get paid back through PayPal through this, which I prefer because then I have I don't have to wait for a check. Checkout 51 used to do that and you know you would submit for a check and it would take forever. I'm really happy that a lot of these apps have decided to go the route with PayPal. Okay, and see this one says trending and it says see all the coupons. And you can click and see all the different deals. Now see this says Kellogg's cereal dollar back on two it will tell you what cereal you can use it on and it says not available at Dollar General and when the coupon expires and if this is a coupon that you would use you just click activate and what I do is I go through the app and I say okay you know what do I use what does my family need what's a good deal to possibly donate and that's how I will decide what to save or not save in the app Hi, Miss Millie. My little one's telling everyone hi here. Now, see, this is what Saving Star used to be like. It would say $5 back when you spend $25, and this is on the General Mills deal. And it lets you know that it expires March 1st. Now, on these deals, you don't have to buy $25 worth of cereal at once. You can buy $5 here, $5 here, $10, whatever your family needs. And it will keep track of your receipts and it will let you know how much more money you need to spend to get your uh, rebate. See mine says zero spent out of 25. This will start going up as I buy items. And it will let you know when a coupon is starting to expire. You can see here on the sweet and low, it's actually highlighted in red that it expires February 14th. I'm trying to find one where there are certain ones where it'll say just this particular store and I know there's some like that for Target here we go Colgate Swish you can see it says two dollars back when you buy one and it says only at Target so you can't submit your receipt from Walmart if you buy this product and get the money back it has to be from Target the Target receipt within the seven you know days from when you bought it. Um, I have a lot of the diaper deals saved, obviously. You see, this one even says pull up $3 when you buy one. And it says only at Walgreens, Stop and Shop, Giant Food, Martins and Meyer, Walmart, Target. So it's just really important to read the coupon before you go to use it. See, here's a per sale coupon and it says only at Target. I have a lot of the Target coupons saved on here. Um, you can actually click on my list and it will let you know what coupons you have saved. So that way you can look them up this way instead of just going through and having to go through the main list and see what is or isn't marked. This can be a very helpful tool. I see it has, I have a lot of them saved on here. I always save as many as I can in case there's something I need or I need to buy or something I want to try to donate. I do a lot of donations. We have a little uh, 
food pantry box at our church here in town and anything that my family can't use I will put in that box to help somebody out see you can just go through here here's another saving star one it's for orbit gum it says 250 back when you spend 10 and it expires March 21st but um, as you can see there's quite a few different offers and then here's the redeem button in the corner and it says you know submit receipts or link store cards I'm I'm kind of 50-50 on linking the cards because I've had problems in the past where, you know, I've linked my card and maybe the item didn't go through or it didn't get there in time and the rebate went up or the coupon expired. So normally on here you're going to see me if I submit receipts, um, actually turn in a paper receipt instead of linking my card. Um, if you guys would like to see videos on how to redeem the re uh, receipts on these different apps. I, I have no problem doing that. Now see, I haven't verified my account yet. I have to do that for when I am ready to cash out. You see, it has some of my receipt stores listed. Oh, I do have my Walgreens one linked. I didn't realize that. That's not bad though. I'll have to try that one day when I do a Walgreens haul and see how that goes. But it'll list every store on here that you can turn receipts in for. Now I hope I answered everybody's questions. If you have any questions, feel free to um, put a comment in the video and let me know. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm really hoping that maybe by the end of this month I'll have 10 subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.